All right. Um, good evening. Welcome. Glad you guys are here. Thrilled that you guys are here. It's another nice group. Guys, look around. I mean, this is really amazing, isn't it? Um, by the way, Foster, go in there and get to whoever's in the kitchen out and tell them to come on up. Um, here's what we're going to do tonight. My wife said to me, um, she goes, Jeff, please don't go past quarter till eight. And I said, honey, I will not do that to the best of my abilities. So um, we're going to try to be done by quarter till so that your youngins, it's so strange to have you guys seated in, in kind of weirder positions and stuff. I kind of like it, you know, um, I like, I like changes. When we're with the worship team, I'll often just throw something completely different at them, and they all look at me like they're scared to death, and uh, especially Brett Foster, because he <laughs> likes his routine. He likes his routine. Um, I'm going to show the first slide if it's available, and it's going to come up on the screen. There you go. Um, here are some different prayer requests. These aren't all just, these aren't all the prayer requests, but here are some of the prayer requests. By the way, where's my daughter at? Did she go down with Miss Amy or something? Oh, well, shame on them. All right. Anyway, it's okay. Um, let me give you a praise to start us off with. Praise number one. My daughter and my son-in-law are back in Indiana. So that's a praise. Number two, praise. Maybe they'll start thinking about having children. Just saying. Number three, number three is um, my daughter and son-in-law are now homeowners. They closed on their house yesterday without any real issue at all. Um, number four, my mom had a birthday and she's still the prettiest woman I think I've ever met in my life. Everyone look at my mom and say happy birthday to my mom. Now, the other person who had a birthday is Mr. Cody over here with the awesome hair. Everyone say, Cody, you got good hair, man. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, everyone say happy birthday to Cody. It was yesterday, wasn't it? He had a birthday. His wife tried to embarrass him, wanted to take him to uh, Texas Roadhouse where they sit on the saddle and you go, Yahoo, and stuff like that. They, they tried a couple different things, and they ended up going and getting bad pizza. So we're going to go, aw, you shouldn't have bad pizza on your birthday. But anyway, um, a couple of really good praises there and everything else. Um, I'll ask you guys, do you have a praise you just are just eager, you just want to share tonight, you want to encourage us with? Yes, ma'am. Every day. Good. Good. That is good. That is huge. That That is huge. That's right. All right. Um, appreciate that. Anybody else? Please tell me it's good news. Okay, so insurance company is communicating finally, and they haven't gotten the estimate to fix the house, but hopefully soon coming. All right, good things. Oh, good. That's exciting, because sometimes these builders are like a month or two out. Anybody else? Once the, 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 the needle goes past, anybody? Dad, you're the last one. Oh, too late. Okay, so... <laughs> On the screen, not nice at all, am I? On the screen, here are just a couple. Becky Wise has been like in the hospital, out of the hospital, in the hospital, out of the hospital. Um, if you want to text her, or uh, and, and maybe texting would be best, mom, yeah, texting would be best. So if you want to text and send a, an encouraging note, ask the gammons over here and they will get you a phone number. But um, more than that, I mean, you know, showing, I would much rather have somebody pray for me than say something nice to me any day, any day. Um, if you would rather have somebody say something nice to you than to pray for you, you need to rethink that a little bit, okay? You would do very well to be praying for Becky. Becky, if you're watching, all my lands, we miss you. We love you. I'm so sorry this has been going on for so long. 
we're just asking the Lord to take care of it and, and get you healthy and well, okay? I'm going to ask you to pray for the Mass and Gill uh, family. I don't know if you guys saw online or not, and Randy is not. I don't see him. And oh, golly, there you are. You move around. Um, yeah, he, he did pass. I think he passed the day after we talked about it. And they went ahead and they had the, the funeral. And uh, of course, Doug Benham did the funeral. They were just like the best of friends. They, the little church up in Neoga, Illinois, um, was so absolutely full. I think there were 100 people standing outside. And Doug, at some point in the funeral, said, if you came to know Jesus through Steve Massengill, I want you to stand up. And like over 100 people stood up. I loved Steve so much because he never brought attention to himself ever. Regardless, never. He never, Randy, he never got appointed to committees. He never, and he, he probably should have been the superintendent if not a bishop. He never brought attention to himself he stayed to the course. He just, I, I want to be like that. I want to be like that. And I think the Lord honored that and blessed the daylights out of him. And hundreds and hundreds of people, I have no doubt, came to know Jesus through Steve. Do you, do you know Steve Massengill? Did you know him at all, Brett? but you don't you don't remember so he would like even help out at the campgrounds and different things um woods did you guys know steve at all just by name mostly yeah well i i'm telling you it was because he was always behind the scenes um what was it if you're in the navy uh, captains eat last you know, that's, a, that's a, a term from the Navy, and he was always eating last regardless. Uh, always behind the scenes, never wanted to have his name mentioned, great godly guy. His wife's name is Gloria. Would you just say that with me? Gloria. You would do really, really well to pray for them. There's a big time problem that, that pastors had, and, and We've been way too negligent for way too long, even in our conference, in our denomination. A lot of pastors lived in parsonages. Ooh, that's awesome. We're providing them free housing. That's like the most horrible thing there ever was. And I remember, in fact, we talked to Doug, and Doug wised up and, and convinced the church to take the parsonage and rent it out and then use, you know, that rent money so that Doug could buy a house. Um... The Mass and Gills lived in parsonages all their lives. And now suddenly, now that her husband's passed away, she has to move out of a parsonage, and they don't have anything. So we're talking about this as a church. We're going to figure this thing out. We're going to try to come along and, and be a blessing there as well. Okay? Gloria, right? and lots of kids and grandkids. Jim Kirkpatrick was a missionary in Africa. Uh, his wife's name, oh, why it, does my brain, thank you, Martha. Or Mar Martha? No, that's um, Jim and, and uh, man, I hate this about me. I hate this about me. You have no idea. Paul had a thorn in the flesh. I've got a thorn in my head. Um, Elizabeth Hartman, uh, grandfather passed away. Elizabeth, I know you're there. You are I'm so sorry about this I'm praying for you. Um, I know you, like you said in the email, you'd been asking us to pray for him. Um, Brian's away. The guy got sick that was supposed to drive the semi truck to Alabama with all the Indy car equipment. So he left, I think it was yesterday morning and got there last night, um, and is gone extra days preschool families um guys 
I'm just, I'm just going to tell you right now. We had donuts with moms or muffins with moms. And I think every single mom was here between yesterday and today. It was magnificent. We had great volunteers. If you volunteered, thank you, Gina. You were one of them. Nancy, you were here today. I, I know there were others, and forgive me if, I, if I'm forgetting. But anyway, they, they, the moms all came and stuff. You were here. It was awesome, wasn't it? It was an incredible turnout. Because I'm going to tell you, I know I had no less, no less than 10 Different moms come and say, you have no idea how much this church means to our kids. Just came up to me, random. They see you out playing on the bobcat, and they, he comes home and gives us updates. Amy is so sweet, all of this. All kinds of different things. Can't believe how nice you guys are. You know, with, I mean, 10 different moms. And, and, and none of them, honestly, none of them said anything about donuts. It was all about other stuff. Cannot believe what this church does. We, we've got um, a couple of different preschool families coming, and you have no idea how much we love you guys. It's you have no idea. I mean, guys, there's nothing that the Gammon family and there's nothing that the Open Door Church family wouldn't do for you guys. We love you guys. You guys have become like your, I mean, your, your, your brothers and sisters. I mean, you just are. Um, and, and little, see, I don't have my grandkids, but I got theirs. <laughs> I love that as well. But um, just good stuff. Continue to pray. Um, we have triplets. We have a set of triplets. It was the little triplet girl that bit her tongue, if you know the triplets. Um, I asked her, I said, w when, when mom and dad came, were they like upset or nervous? No. They, they speak so highly of the church. It's just unreal. Everybody, everybody, everybody in that preschool is just talking such good stuff about the church. And I'm going to tell you whether... They, they're going to a church, and if that church isn't preaching the, the gospel, or they don't go to church, or they used to go to church, or they, they find themselves in a hard place, where do you think they're going to turn? We're going to love on them and, and just good stuff. Pray for the little triplet girl. College students are finishing up. Matthew's taking finals like right now and all this week, and it's stressful. Uh, not just Purdue, but Butler, all, all these schools. Um, and then Tammy Clark, for the life of me, your friend, does it start with a B? Oh, it's an M. Oh. 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 Yeah, anyway, Monty. Um, it's got cancer, is that right? Yeah, not good. So, and is on hospice now, is that kind of, but not. Oh, that's what it was. I remember now. Yeah. yeah. All right. And it's Monty, right? Yes. All right. Real quickly, I asked you about praises. Do you guys have a prayer request? Let me just ask you this. Let's make this really, really simple. Who here has a silent prayer request? I got one here. I got one here. Anybody else? I got one here. I got one here. Anybody else? Got one there. I got one there. I got two in the back. And I got one right here. Now, let me just simply ask you this. A, before you raised your hand, do you believe that God knew the prayer request that you have and the situation going on in your, in your mind? Do you think he knew? Of course he knew. When you raised your hand, do you not think that God said, look, he's looking to me. He, he, he's asking for prayer. She's asking for prayer. So do you not believe that God saw that and like, okay, they're coming before me. They're asking for, for my intervention. Do you not believe that? He's done that. Any, any prayer requests that you want to mention out loud? Anybody at all? Okay, Mr. Brett Foster, you get, the, you get to pray tonight for us. I'll give you this. And just stand, and it doesn't have to be elegant. Not that it wouldn't be elegant, but uh, pray, 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 pray for us, please. And pray for, for us. All right. 
Heavenly Father, we just come before you tonight uh, just thankful to be in your house, thankful to be in fellowship with one another. Um, we're so thankful for this church family that you have given us, and we truly are family, uh, and that's just so evident every time we're together. Um, we have a lot of exciting things going on, and we just pray for uh, strength and encouragement with this new addition. Um, that you may bring more people into to worship and fellowship with us, Lord, um, and bring more people ultimately into your kingdom. Thank you for your many blessings. Uh, Lord, we lift all of our prayers and our loved ones up to you tonight. Uh, may you bless them and care for them. And uh, just continue to be with the church and be with Jeff tonight uh, and just open our hearts to uh, what your spirit has to reveal tonight through Jeff. And may they be your words and not his. We thank you for all you do, all you've done, and all you're going to do. And we do this in Christ Jesus. And all the people say, amen. All right, guys. So what we're going to do tonight is in a few moments, I'm going to have a video started. He'll dim the lights so hopefully you can see it. And there won't be too much sunlight reflecting. You'll be able to see it well. And we'll make sure that the volume is more than loud. I would always, always rather have the volume a little bit too loud than a little bit too soft any day of the week. You're welcome to come and say, Pastor Jeff, that was just way too loud. Um, and stuff. My dad actually said I had to take my hearing aid out or something he told me the other day because it was we were bumping pretty good in here. So good stuff.